Hey guys, I am here at the Galadari Hotel for the International Women's Day Women in Management panel discussion. She is revolutionary. She is evolutionary. And I will be taking you around and talking to all the panel speakers, the keynote speaker and a few attendees. And I'll see you on the other side. Hey guys, I am with Kumudu Monasinghe, who is the head of corporate communications of John Kills. How do you uh, what's your idea on how women's day has changed throughout the years from the start to how it is now and how people see it um i think now people recognize it as being something to do with women empowerment rather than the traditional let's ce- celebrate women so it's no longer about giving a rose or a cupcake or something like that it there is actually a theme there is actually a way forward on empowerment so there's a lot more information given out there on what women's day actually means and it has evolved in the sense where it used to be something where it it had to do just with women you know women celebrating women and so on but now you have a lot of guys coming out there uh being these male champions of change and so on so i think those are the kind of little differences i have seen over the years that's it uh, have a nice day and thank you thank you So hey guys I am with Gehan Kure who is the lead actor executive producer and the screenwriter for the movie The Billionaire which is in movie theaters from the 19th of March and he is also a guest speaker for tonight how are you doing Gehan I'm awesome thank you so much <laughs> uh what are your thoughts on tonight's event I think honestly it was there was not one dull moment in tonight's event i mean even in hollywood i was telling dr solo i mean i have attended events at the directors guild of america you know the american film market all these top events but some of them are very boring even though i'm in the entertainment industry but here this was an event that i'm so glad i think they have it on record because i think people should watch it and watch it repeatedly there was so much i learned and so much everyone will learn And how do you think Women's Day has changed throughout the years to what it is how we see it now? I feel like people really have started to respect women and it's not just, you know, okay, Women's Day, Earth Day, Children's Day. I feel like there is an organic respect for women. I was so privileged to speak here to an audience of almost entirely women. And you know the energy is so peaceful, and I feel like you know Women's Day is a day of empowerment to women, but it's also from for us as guys, it's a day of peace when we get to enjoy that very peaceful, serene, feminine energy. You know, yeah. On the topic of you uh, being a speaker tonight, did you have anyone you enjoyed listening to? uh yes i mean definitely not myself i didn't enjoy listening to myself uh honestly i can't pinpoint one speaker because in fact i was telling solo there was like i said not one dull moment everybody had something of value of uh, because see i was very impressed that all the speakers were not only educational and informative but they also laced their stories with humor very personal relatable stories i mean seriously this was better than stand up comedy and each and every person who spoke i mean that's a testament to solo's ability to put together amazing panels amazing keynote speakers i really can't pick just one and you know they each had different styles of communication but I really can't pinpoint one or even two. Yeah. All right, two ended. Uh, what are your thoughts on women in management? I think it's a very unique organization, especially in Sri Lanka where you know, we have a history of I mean, yes, we had the first uh, uh prime minister who was a woman in the world and the first uh, I mean, well, not the first president, but I mean, we've had a female president, but women in management is quite something else because this is not the political arena this is day to day life right these women who make a difference on like on the ground level day to day so i think women in management is going to play a huge role in changing the landscape in sri lanka over the coming years and decades and i think they're really going to swing people's minds in the in the direction of looking up to women and changing that you know somewhat toxic masculine culture here Right, thanks guys have a good night hey guys i am with lehini veera singh from the national youth services council and how are you doing tonight lehini actually i had a pretty interesting evening today at the uh, she is revolution revolutionary initiative so yeah i'm doing pretty well uh what are your thoughts on tonight's event 
Well, I think it is um, it is a deviation from the traditional conventional Women's Day uh, celebrations, and I believe uh, it's actually a great deviation because we today um, got to listen uh, um, amazing speakers and panelists speaking about a wide array of topics, and most of them to do with the cyberspace, which is something that is rarely spoken about uh, at an at a Women's Day celebration event. So I believe this is a a good deviation in the right direction yeah uh, and what are your thoughts on how women's day has changed yeah. throughout the years from how it first started to how it is now in 2021 well, um, it has become a habit. It was a habit uh, for most of uh, most of Sri Lankans to speak about women's rights or maybe about feminism on Women's Day celebrations and to limit it only to that particular day. Because I have personally uh, held uh, this opinion as well. I've uh, seen that there's a lot of vigils or a lot of celebrations, events, all ceremonious sort of events being um, organized only on uh, the International Women's Day. And then, you know, the rest of the 364 days they will not abide or you know they will not uh, talk about or even basically implement what they are talking about on the women's day so um, I have seen from that point we have progressed in a positive direction and today we do not just uh, limit our uh, women's rights talks or whatever discussions that where women matter and uh, about the well-being of women only to one particular day and having said that I also need to say that a woman, uh, a woman should be celebrated a day a year. Because that's important. It's like Mother's Day, Father's Day. It's important. But what's more important is whatever you discuss today, whatever you come up with on the International Women's Day being implemented rest of the year as well. Hey guys, I am with Anoji De Silva who is a partner at EY. And how are you doing tonight? Good, thank you. Uh, what are your thoughts on tonight's event? Um, so brilliant as usual. I think uh, why I generally uh, make a make an effort to come uh, for Sulochana's event is I think she always brings about something different and uh, something that you generally don't find because I think the topic today about cyberbullying and uh, also about uh, the, I, the IT crimes that's something that a lot of people don't touch on but it's also something that's very relevant uh, and something we should really educate people on. So I think short answer is as usual different and very relevant. Thank you. Uh, what are your thoughts on how Women's Day has changed throughout the years and how social media plays a big role and how women in management plays a big role in that? Um, so Women's Day I think has changed from earlier it was just uh, nice to have a pretty event where you just probably dress up nicely and come and have probably tea and a fashion show but now we don't very rarely see fashion shows but it's actually insightful things that are relevant to women and, and what I find is uh, so one thing a uh, lot of younger women used to say is that uh, they don't really have role models, they don't really know who the corporate women are, so they don't really know the proper stories of those women, how they came up the ladder. Uh, but now I think the Women's Day and also uh, some uh, especially Sulo Chana from Vim has actually changed it because now they have a lot of role models, so there are people I guess all the young ladies can relate to and uh, I think they're really lucky so that has actually made them makes them stronger and also helps them also in their journey. Mama Chandi Maru Mapiruma, Aparada Parikshana Department, we Parigana Kanshi Stana, the Petini Vashen Kata to Kerno, Mima Session Nikita Sahaba Givela, Woman in Need Management, Ekin Sangidane Kerapu, Mima Session Nikatulin. Vivid the Shays, Ravella, Rakia Kerner, Kantavan, Boho Dinek and the Handuragani, Medalebuna, Eva Gamer, 
සයිබ අපරාධ වලින් ඔවුන් ආරක්ෂා විය යුත්තේ කෙසේද යන්න සම්බන්ධයෙන් ඔවුන්ව දැනුවත් කිරීමට ලැබීම ලංකාවේ සිද්ධ වෙන අපරාධ අඩු කිරීමට යම් කිසි දායකත්වයක් ලබා දීමට හැකියාවීම සම්බන්ධයෙන් මම ඊටම සතුටු වෙනවා. Sandra Dizoiza who is the group chief customer officer of Dialog and who is also a panel speaker for tonight. How are you doing tonight Sandra? Oh, I'm doing great. This all this positive energy and positive vibes around me celebrating women talking about women's issues and all that is just a nice place to be it's good evening when it started to how it is now and how social media plays a big role on how people see women's day and how their perception of women change throughout the years um so if i thought about women's day when i was in my 20s or even younger i mean if i was younger then i don't remember women's day being celebrated at all uh, later on i've seen women's day come up as this one special day uh in which women are to be celebrated uh but as i've grown older and for mature now for me i think we need to celebrate women 365 days of the year and we don't need one day dedicated to celebrate women um so and then i when you look at the beginnings of women's day it had nothing to do about chocolates and roses and all this commercialization it had all to do with women's rights women's women being marginalized and the women who took to the streets fought for liberating women right and for women's rights so i think uh, forgetting that cause and marginalizing it to uh, chocolates and roses and some celebration uh, i think is not the right thing to do in the first place but people like wim and sulochana don't actually do that they actually trying to retain the original uh, value and worth of what it was all about which is why today's theme was about the fact that she is um, evolutionary but also revolutionary and also talk about like passing that torch choose to challenge with the glass is half full or empty and a very very pertinent conversation if you heard uh, how the audience reacted and all the stories related to social media and um uh, cyber bullying for women right so now those are very value adding this is not women coming together and just having a tea and a coffee and going off this is women talking about experiences and sharing knowledge that is value adding for others as well right so it's almost um, educational as well in a sense um apart from meeting a, a lot of nice ladies and you know having other conversations so i think um, uh, it's very meaningful and for myself otherwise i think i would not have agreed to come be a panelist um the only reason i did this because i always know that suloshna has a intent and a purpose and a good positive objective behind every initiative she engages in which is why i like to you know um i would say Uh, be there assist help applaud her and rally round uh, because i know it's some cause that's good for women so moving on to the last question did you have a speaker you enjoyed listening to or even a favorite from tonight okay so um i would not say that um i had a favorite uh, i think all the women spoke of very valuable insights information points of view and opinions uh, but i have to say uh, that the lady who came from the cid right uh, who uh, did the keynote she had so much of invaluable information to share uh, that i really appreciated listening to her i honestly did um, and i was even proud at the fact that she is a woman in the cid doing that job which is encouraging for the list of us women right um i also enjoyed a lot gihan uh, kure's conversation because actually it made me cry somehow i got tear teary eyed because to me he was talking about stuff that to me as a mom that is what any mom would want their children to grow up to be like right and he embodies all of those things and he spoke about such very simple and very basic very foundational very fundamental um, philosophies beliefs in life and it made me realize that it's so important for young moms of today 
to be able to teach their children the fundamentals and basics in life right like spirituality respect for each other behaving whether you're a gentleman or a lady to behave in that manner because being born a man doesn't make you a gentleman being born a girl doesn't make you a lady right uh, that embodies certain characteristics right um, and in in a positive way so there can't be anything that's negative like shouting or screaming or being wicked or you know um uh, be immoral or um uh, you know being false or pretentious it can't be all those things because then you are not a gentleman or you're not a lady right um so it's very fundamental and nobody really talks about stuff like that anymore but for a young man to have been saying all that my gosh it brought tears to my eyes because i was thinking wow this is a young man who's got it all 100% right right that makes a good human being um yeah so i would say in a in a sort of way i both of them are uh, favorite speakers for tonight all right thank you and have a good night <laughs>